Hi guys, it's Hanya here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make meringue rose cookies. So let's get started. To make the meringue, I'm using egg whites, granulated sugar and lemon juice. I'm going to whisk it over a pot with simmering water until all of the sugar is dissolved. It's really crucial that you dissolve the sugar, otherwise you can end up having sugar beads on your baked meringues. You can check if the sugar is dissolved by rubbing the mixture between your fingers. If there is no more graininess, it's ready to go. Return the bowl to your stand mixer and beat on low speed at first and then increase the speed to medium high until medium peaks are formed at your extract. I'm using vanilla extract today. And continue beating until you have stick, uh, stiff peaks formed. Your meringue should be glossy and smooth. Divide it into bowls and color it with gel food coloring. When coloring meringue, make sure that you're not whisking or stirring it. Try to fold it so you don't deflate it too much. We're going to be working with three different shades of pink. Darkest pink is going to be used for the center of the rose, then medium pink for the middle petals and the lightest pink for the outer petals. Fit your piping bag with a large piping tip and then fill the bag with colored meringue. At this point you should have your oven preheated to um, 175 degrees of Fahrenheit or whatever the lowest setting. I like to use the lowest setting on my oven. I have a flour nail ready and parchment squares. Starting with the darkest pink, we're gonna make a simple swirl start. Piping like so and turn the nail as you go. Make sure that you're, the narrow part of the, the narrow part of the um, petal tip is facing up and the wider part is facing down. Now for the outer petals, I'm using the lightest pink and we're gonna make five petals. Take a toothpick and clean up the bottom edge. and repeat. Once you're done piping all the flowers, we're going to bake these off. I like to bake them at 175 degrees of Fahrenheit for about three to four hours, depending on the size of the meringues I'm making. It can be longer than that also. And um, after that, I turn off the oven and I leave the meringues in until the oven cools. Now, if you'd like, you can also add some sparkle to your meringues before they are baked. I'm using diamond dust, edible diamond dust. You're just going to sprinkle these and bake these off. Once baked, I store them immediately in an airtight container with a little bowl of raw rice. I find rice helps to keep the moisture at bay so my meringues don't get soggy. You can also freeze these for up to a month. And for all the recipes and other baking tips and troubleshooting, be sure to visit my blog. Link is posted in the description box under the video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time.